Hello, I'm Alan Peaford and welcome to this Arabian Aerospace TV special report brought to you from Bordeaux in France. Now behind me here you can see Marcel Dassault's first ever twin-engined aircraft. Well we're here today to see a special new arrival to the Dassault fleet. It's the 5X, it's the first time it's been seen, it's going to be rolled out and you're going to be seeing the best parts of it. And hundreds of visitors from all over the world are making their way here to Merignac Airport. There are users of these aeroplanes, the operators, there are suppliers, there are the crew that use them and of course the world's media are here as well. We're going to take a look inside, talk to some of those key people and look at the rollout of the aircraft. And amongst the welcoming party for the special guests coming today is Olivia Villa, the Senior Vice President for Civil Aircraft of Dassault. And I'm going to ask him about why the 5X is so important to the Middle East and African markets. We had a great success in the Middle East with the introduction of the 7X, which was very popular over there. And a lot of people who have learned to like the Falcons and the comfort of the 7X were asking for a little bigger cabin. And when we introduced the 5X, we saw a lot of great response. People love the mock-up that we've shown uh, last year at Dubai, and really uh, it looks like it will be a great aircraft over there. Well, once through the old ticketing and badge getting, we're inside the main production hangar for Dassault, and it's quite fabulous with a real array of aircraft here awaiting delivery and finishing here. And behind us, they've got a special one which will be familiar in the Middle East. This is the Dassault Rafale, which has just been bought by Qatar and by Egypt. So we're going to be seeing that in the skies as frontline fighters fairly soon. Cracking looking aircraft, and there's a lot more going on with the 7X as well. One of the things that Dassault are pushing with the 5X is its ability to land in some of the smaller runways. And we're seeing that because of the cracking little bits of landing gear, wheels and brakes from Megit, and that's on display here as well. Well, a real marvel of aerodynamic refinement meets a wonder of propulsion technology here with a Silvercrest engine. The 11,450-pound thrust Silvercrest engine draws on the company's long experience with the world's best-selling airliner engine, the CFM-56, which you see on 737s all over the world. Well, the introduction of a new business aircraft really is a special event and you can guarantee that Dassault are putting on a real show today. Oh, look at this, we're seeing mirrors. Well, we need a bit of smoke, really, and uh, look at the dancers, they're going. And, of course, it's all about flying. And here we can see some of the trapeze artists. They're talking about more thrust with less fuel, and um, I think these guys could actually do this all day. Look at it, it's fantastic. Oh, here comes the smoke we were talking about, and coming out from here are the guys that are actually working on building the 5X. Did you know there have actually been 8,000 aircraft built here at Merignac over the last half century? Quite an incredible figure, and that's a really punching around here. And here it comes, behind it is the aeroplane. Here comes the Dassault 5X being seen for the very first time and already painted in the Dassault livery. And I like the idea of the F wide there at the back, which is on the registration, demonstrating the width of this aircraft with its, uh, well over almost nine foot, the width of the aircraft. Incredibly, it's got 5,200 nautical miles it can do at Mach uh, 0.8. And of course, we've got those uh, Snecma Silver engines that we were talking about earlier. It really is quite something, isn't it? It's got a balanced field length of about 5,250 feet. That's uh, 1,600 metres to me and you. And approach speed of 105 knots. So that great thing, as we said earlier, it's going to be able to get into some of those special uh, airports, some of those smaller airfields that you see around the world, Wellington and places like that. Well, that's some of the basic facts, but somebody that could actually lay a little bit more information on for us is Renaud Cloat, the regional director for Dassault in the Middle East. That's an aircraft that would be a revolution for the passengers with a new diameter, a new comfort in the cabin. That's the biggest uh, cabin available on the market. That's a revolution for the pilots uh, with this new head-up display technology uh, that brings uh, you know, a combined vision of synthetic vision infrared vision uh, that's an aircraft that that will really um, give all information available at the same time for the for the pilots uh, coming up with incredible performance we will have an aircraft that will be uh, in the range of 70,000 pounds 
uh, so it's going to be light and efficient as uh, all Falcons, uh, capable to go in and out of small runways, steep approach. I mean, the performance is still in the blood of the aircraft. And, uh, and we have uh, an aircraft that will be capable to fly also very fast. Well, I can understand what Renault means. This is fantastic. It is the widest and tallest cabin that you're going to find in business aviation today. It's also incredibly light. There are 28 windows here in the cabin, plus, of course, the rather unique skylight at the very top. I'm just trying to find out if it's possible to open it so you can do all that waving as you go charging into London City Airport or into Dubai International just to make people know you've really arrived. But what an incredible cabin here. If you look at it we've got the Skybox Media which is uh, a DASO system but you can add into it a place to put your iPad. You've got a point here where you can use your own iPhone, you can charge it but you can also operate the seats, the audio and everything. The seats here are rather incredible, part of BE Aerospace, wonderful, nice leather, modern European design. This is an incredible aircraft. You can feel the width as well. One of the problems, of course, we talk about sometimes is how cramped you can feel in a cabin. People often talk about the, the fat cats traveling in incredible luxury, but often it isn't. Often it's just like an SUV. You can sit fairly tight for a couple of hours. I think here, Dasso have really stolen a trick with adding this extra width to the cabin. And if you go on behind me, you can see how they've used the space to make bedroom space, you can use office space, you can really do business in the sky. With 18 passengers, you can take your whole entourage here. And as Renault says, now's the time to buy if you want to get this aircraft as soon as it comes out. Of course, the luxurious cabin that we've seen in the mock-up is not quite what we've got at the moment. We've got all the technical bits and pieces that are going to be used for the flight testing. Flight testing likely to start with a maiden flight in August of this year and delivery, the first delivery to customers in 2017. It really is an impressive aeroplane and it's a great honour to actually be here for the birth of this new Falcon. So thank you for watching this special programme and we'll see you again soon. Goodbye.